Raj. I'm back with more King Kingdom Deliverance. Kingdom Come Deliverance. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Holy shiitake mushrooms. We're starting part six. Where we just left off. And then, all right. So we just went back to bury our parents. I got my ass beat and lost the sword. And this beautiful lady, uh, which of my villagers she seemed to have survived. How do I have those clothes on when I throw them away? What the fuck? Do you need some help? It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Teresa? Hmm. Must have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. 
They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <coughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. What in the world were you doing in Scarlet? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead? All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for the bandits. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? Sir Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. A lot, of loss, <coughs> a lot of resting. How's the invalid today? Oh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humor back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live. But my uncle will be taking you in and caring for you. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanish of Leipzig. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know, Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your city Fuck your uncle. for a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you and for medicine. That's a good deal of coin you owe him. I've been lying here too. Oh God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe you both my life, and I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Um... Okay.
Um. <clears throat> All right, so let's let's get the eating shit off. Uh. God damn it. <clears throat> I did it again. Is this her uncle over here? My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Tor She took care of you two whole weeks while okay. you were living. Okay, yeah, let me just look through my head. There you go. Door. While you were lying here, there <coughs> were quite a bill of the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone on and not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honorable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right. But somewhere else, I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruple, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. 
But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojtek, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow was dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. You tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Mm, okay. <clears throat> Wants me to dig up somebody. Have you heard anything about the cumin in Sigismund's army? I don't know if it's just old wild. Sixty-eight, yeah, damn. And can we do something about the price? Why not? Wait. I did trade no thing.
Good health to you. That was weird. <clears throat> All right, um. The bears, huh? What's life like in Ratai? Life is good here. Even... I'm interested in your uh, services. So, what are you interested in? A bath, a laundry with my clothes, heal and my wounds. I've uh, heard you have nice girls here. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. That's too much. It's not worth it to me. As you wish. That's tough. Didn't mean to haggle. Fuck me. Did not mean to haggle. I'd like to discuss the price. Sure. Why not? Here. And something for your trouble. Thanks a thousand times. Did I just give her money? No. She gave Broke, we can't be doing all that. All right, we, we, we broke boys out here.
Jesus Christ be praised. What kind of governor is? All right, no give fuck. Buy a um, buy a goddamn horse. That's a loud ass whistle. Oh, how do I get there? You know, I can just go to the woods, okay. Make us a shit. That's the next year, huh? Miller Peshak sent me. He's very sorry, but by mistake, he didn't give you the full weight of flour last time. He says you should come and get the balance. That rogue. How much is it? Half a sack. That's nothing to sneeze at. It certainly isn't. I'll go there right away. Nothing on the left hand. The right? Oh shit, there's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that? <coughs> oh, the stench makes me want to puke. Yes, it, it looks nice. At least it's a nice looking game now. Hmm. 
I don't like how all the dogs look the same though. That shit's really irritating for some reason to me. Alright, where her punk ass uncle at? So I can punch him in the titty. Jesus Christ be praised. Alright, alright, I'll do this. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock with the blade. But don't stop holding the tumbler with the pick. Otherwise, you forced it and broke the lock pick. That crack could be heard in Kuttenberg. You have to watch out for that. An experienced guard will recognize the sound at once. I wonder if I can uh, get my lockpick skill up just from doing it. What the fuck? I did it that time. What the hell? Hello? I fucked up. I Corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. On the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. Let's go. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of rubbing the dead. It'd be better to pinch him from his house. All right, I'll go and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere in the house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past the lock? Get past the lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity, like popping a young maiden's cherry. I have some experience. All right. All right. I'm glad to hear you're not as clumsy as you look. Here's a lock. I just fast travel there, dude. All right, well, we're doing sneaky missions. Them actually the playthroughs I like to play though. Real sneaky like, you know, in and out, you know what I'm saying? Hello, oh, you know, kill that dude type dude.
Let's take our uh, All right, the rest of my shit shouldn't make noise. I guess it'll be like that for right now. That way, our, our shit can be low as possible. Uh, on treasure maps that I got somehow. Wait, god damn it. I keep fucking just fucking this shit up. Alright, boom. Um. Just in case I do get thrown up, thrown in jail and shit.
I'll wait till the night time. My fucking god.
up. Now, you don't belong here. Well? Got weak at the knees, then. Wow. You know what? I guess I gotta knock his ass out. What the fuck? How, how did I not hit him right here? Oh, he's dead? Damn. He did. What? This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. I just killed his ass. I'm about to be Paris' ass. Uh. 
My phone just blew up. Oops, I just dropped some shit. God damn it. Oh, fuck shit. Have you eaten yet? Yes, it was very good. Did you bake it yourself? Did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, we in the bag. What a bitch. Uh, what? No, go away. This is time everybody wake up and shit. Fucking God, bro. Am I injured? Yeah, I am. 
Start resting up makes me know. Alright, let's see if I can upgrade anything. Uh, I actually gotta read this? That, that was... That was terrible. I just read. This fix to wake up, dog. Damn. They still sleep. The fuck? Bitch, get up. His ass up. Wow. Good day to you. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek for Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you, and I'll have something for you soon too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. Stolen goods? Thanks, but no thanks. I'm not a thief. Watch it. Shut the fuck up. Alright, let's see this shit. Oh. We can go. The main question. I gotta go. Like this. This is for the main question, isn't it? I think. Or this is just for that, wasn't it? Yeah, it's for that the job that I took on. Oh no, the other shit's right here. That's right. You see Sir Retrace, but I can go that way. I want to go here, though. Where is my... They can heal my wounds, can't they? This should be a fucking fortune.
Is this her? I think this is her. Yep. I'd like to uh, order something here. Uh huh. And what do you want? A bit of everything. Heal my wounds. Have a proper bath. Oh, and my garments are in need of laundry. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. I'm not giving you that much. And how much are you willing to pay? Is this enough? Well now, a little more and we'll shake on it. You won't regret spending the money. I guarantee it. I spent 27 out of 50, so. How do my energy go down? I'd like to uh, order something here. And what is it you'd like? I've uh, heard you have nice girls here. But of course. Money first, though. That's tough. I'm not giving you that much. And how much are you willing to pay? Game thing. I need to do is buy a new fucking lesson. I mean, a new buy a fucking uh, horse. I wonder if you could fish in this game. I've been doing a whole lot of nothing. I got killed the fucking go hard. <laughs> Side mission, dude. Side mission, I tell you. Not right now. this mercenary let's talk to him what's the matter ah nothing's the matter i just like to pass the time of day with a fellow wayfarer i see what you have in mind we could have a little bout of combat for the sake of practice Who are you, anyway? And what do you do? 
Merchants hire me for protection. That's all you need to know. Mm-hmm. Oh so, shit, fuck it. Shall we fight that? Let's get it. Alright, why not? Do you have any coin? Well. Surely you didn't imagine we would fight just for the glory of it. Yeah, kinda did, kinda did. Uh I don't have enough money. No coin, no contest. Alright, cool, because I didn't have the red gear on anyway. Let's just go ahead and throw that armor shit on it. I got boob. Yeah, I got my table on. Alright, I should be good. Get this marker away. Ooh, can't wait till you give me a horse. Are you serious? Run through that? Okay. Alright, guess not. I guess I'm going around. Wait, the treasure map shit. Yeah, where, where am I? Where the fuck am I? Oh, I think I might be going the right way. Yeah, if I go towards this way and see the, the water split off, then I should be good. And then I can go get that treasure. Pop up on the map now. Oh. I can't go any further. The current could sweep me to my death. Really? Wow. Is there a way for me to get around? Oops. So I can't go that way, so that would be a different way.
Or maybe I can't go that the higher up. Maybe I can cross right here through the water. I'll be with you. Miller Peshek from Ratai sent me with this ring for you. A ring? Here it is. Useless fucking bauble. You must be Henry, right? Peshek told me about you. What the, why did you throw it away? Do you know how much trouble I had to get it? Peshek said it was important to you. Like I said, it's a piece of junk. It was just a test to see if you've got the balls to work for the miller. It's a custom of ours, testing fledglings in the trade. Nice little wild goose chase. We need to see if you'll be hobbled by pointless principles, or if you're willing to use your head. Congratulations. You passed the test, and now we'll have a few jobs for you. I'd like you to teach me how to be better at stealth. Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Cost me. Okay. Oh, another time. Another time. Do you need help with anything? Just in time. There is a certain matter I need resolving. I have some scores to settle with the commander of the Talmberg Guard, and I want to get my own back. You may have heard that Sir Robard of Talmberg is a stickler for having all his gear neat and tidy. The commander of the guard? Sir Robard? I'm already confused. Just tell me what I need to do. It's like this. I want you to break into the Talmberg armory and steal a few weapon locks with the coat of arms on them. Ah, and once Sir Robard finds some of his guardsmen's equipment is missing... He'll see to the commander of the guard, who's the only one with keys and answerable for their safekeeping. When Robard finds out he's losing things from under his nose, he'll have him whipped. And I'll get what I'm after. Satisfaction. Take at least five weapon rocks to make it a proper stink. Consider it done. What am I to do with the weapon rocks once I have them? I'll burn them to get rid of the evidence. Just make sure you don't get caught. Alright, so we already did embarked on this thieve, uh, these thieve quest. Uh, how about we... If you hear... Yawn. Alright, now I can fast travel back to the city and, uh... Do what I need to do. Wait, where is it? A marker at right here. Oh, it looks like a like a moving chess piece. Pretty darn dope.
Good day. Eat a fucking horse. Black one. On a black horse, so I can just gallop around. So. Talk to the blacksmith real quick. Maybe he got some quests for us or something. Well, I say you ain't got shit, huh? Tough, bro. I'm broke as fuck. I really do you get good at being a thief, so I can just steal money. Unsmitten, it must be like, uh. Alright, time, time to talk to him. See if he got any work first. I respect you, sir. <sighs> I'd like you to show me some hunting tricks. Certainly. Well, I'll I forgot. I forgot, you gotta pay for that shit. 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 I wish it was a third person option for this shit. <sighs> the Trader's Tavern. I don't talk to you. Where's she going? Ah, oh, damn. Let me talk to you, chick. Damn. Hmm. She got all types of shit. That's probably the best for a room. We don't need that.
Oh, is this dude to make clothes and shit? Hold up. Hold up. God for the boy. That's cool, you know. Ugly ass shoes. These bitches weak too. I like how they're, you know, take them to air to show pop up. Well, these are shoes. Okay. He making me shit. How are you? Pretty swell. Um, about repairs. Okay, so basically. We we see what the fuck going on here. I'm, I might just come through, steal y'all shit later on. I right, time to go to the main mission line shit. How you doing? How you doing? Big hand. Big hand. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Uh, 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 uh. Pretzel. Is this like a pretzel place? Oh, bakery. Okay. Baker. Do do. On a baker's man. Groceries. Okay. Another trader's place. Scared. I'm the baker's man. What's this? Butcher, okay. Something over here, though. For a good scrub, you stink like a badger. Um, you fight for coin. You're the brawler who takes bets. What's it to you? I'm a Scalitz refugee, and I'd like to try my luck against you. Hang on, I know who you are, and I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? Why for silver? Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself, and then look at the others. All they've got to wager is their labor, but you, you've got coin. Um. Are there any rules? Aye, a couple. Whoever lands on his ass or runs, loses. And no knives, axes, or any of that shit. You'll forfeit your wager for that, got it? Okay. All right, let's fight then, if you think you can take me. Oh, shit. First, you have to prove you're a worthy opponent for me by beating two other regular brawlers, Stephen and a fellow they call Ringlet. Ringlet, Ringlet, ring a ring a ling, ding a ling, ring a ding, ding a ling, ring a ling, ding a ling. Okay. Um, the other two cock blocks. Ring a ding, ding a ling, ling a ling, ting. Did you find out what actually happened? 
folk say it was on account of her silver, and how Sir Radzik sides with a king. How does life in Ratai suit you? I suppose it was kind of them to take us in, but then they just left us to fend for ourselves. Nobody gives a damn about us. Thank you a hundredfold. I was ringling, dingling, tingling. Hell, what are you doing here? I took you for dead. Oh, it's a long story. What about you? How did you get out of Scalis? You wouldn't believe it. A frightful storm broke that night, and Sigismund's heathens ran back to their camp. They never dreamed Sir Radzik would use the storm as cover for our escape. The entire village slipped away as quiet as mice while no one watched. In the morning, when those bandits attacked, all they found was an empty castle with an old goat inside. I wish I could have seen their faces. So do I. You tricked them nicely. See you later. See you later. What? What do I have on me that's illegal? What? Do I really not have any pants? Wow. Honestly, yeah, he's still chasing me. Could that be the smith's in the night hall? What do you want with it? My father made him a sword. He, um... He asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. I should just like what I got on. Hands on your knees, Papa. Hands on your knees, Papa, for me, please.
My mother's calling me. I'm doing everything on. Wait for him to come out. The way they eat the food on here is funny, bro. Right? Lady. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't mm. you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. Room enough for your men and you here at Rate, and I'm sure my ward won't just as well you have another castle at the other town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanush. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, oh, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I What's a whack-ass hairline? You aren't alone, father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of war. Uh, with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, 
the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Townburg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, well, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <coughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Oh, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lads. I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant father, he's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm, that's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't 
You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. All right. Well, we're gonna leave it off on that. Uh, next fucking shit, we're gonna be a. Uh... We're gonna be getting training, I guess. Training to be a spearsman. They probably cleaning the town up. I might do a little bit of side missions and shit. So yeah, let me just uh, no game slaved. Wow. All right. Well, it's Black Council IV. It's got achievement called Awakening. And uh, all right, we out this bitch. <laughs>